are you taking me? Welcome to Dutt Excursions in the GR Corolla. We're going off-roading, baby, okay? I don't know where we're going, but we found this dirt trail in the middle of nowhere, and I thought, we have the new GR Corolla. Toyota literally promotes this as like this off-roading, fun, trackable vehicle. If we're gonna track it, we might as well off-road it too. Right, Tim? Yes. It just only seems right. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Just having some fun. I don't, should we get, I guess we should just go down here. I don't, I don't really know where to go, but we're gonna send it and see if this car is it really good in the dirt as well. So let's find out. This is a big, a big lot right here. So this should, oh God, the suspension is, Suspension is nice and tight for us. Instantly dirty. <laughs> so good. Okay, so for you guys, I put the car into, actually, so it was in 6040 there. What should I, what, should I have it in rear wheel bias, all wheel bias? Have fun with it, try it. All okay, so that was, that 50, was. 50 is gonna give you better donuts. Okay, so that was front wheel bias. Let's push track, which puts it into 50-50 bias. Yeah. So, okay, we'll try 50-50 now. Let's have some fun. So what I did was put it in the sport drive mode and then turn traction control off, which puts it into expert mode. So let's have some fun. You having fun yet? It feels so good. Now put it in 50-50, lock the wheel all the way and just hold it. Okay. So great. You can have I so just, much. I got okay. dirty. You're a little dirty. You're a little <laughs> dirty. So real real wheel drive now? Yeah. You should clean the camera off too. Wait, it's dirty? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Should I get her wet? You can try. Okay, this is real wheel drive bias right now as well, guys. So Oh, I'm making like ruts in the dirt here.
best yes, car. It's so sick, dude. Why is this the best car <laughs> ever? The brakes are like steaming. This is insane. She's so good. How is it that good? Just imagine if you took a Subaru and did that. Oh my god. This I love this car. A little mishap here. That's just. I would. I would wait till it's clean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Covered in dirt. Okay, how was your experience seeing the Corolla? It looks like it's cool. looks like it's freaking amazing and off-roading. It is. This car is so good. What did we just get ourselves into? No, this is not the start of a rally build, okay? Oh, come on. We just had to test it out. We wanted to give her a good <laughs> test, okay? Next time we're gonna fucking rip from up there oh my and God. full send it. But uh, in case you were wondering if the Corolla has off-road capabilities, yes, I think the answer to that question is yes. All right, to wrap up our video today, we have one last FKA project, and we have our homie George here from DH Whoa. Graphics making a quick house call for us, because as you guys know, the Type R is down. But one thing that I really, really have been wanting to do to this car, George, how long ago did I hit you over at this? It was a lot, Probably it's months maybe. ago six months ago. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this forever and I've just been putting it off, but I figured since the car's apart up here, now is the perfect time. I've really, really been wanting to wrap the headlights in yellow, just full race car status. Adds an extra 50 horsepower just by the yellow headlights. No, it's just gonna look really cool. It's total like race car, look, has no, there's no purpose to it other than I just really wanted it, wanted it for the looks. Yeah, it's gonna look cool. Adds a little bit more race car styling to the car. And I figured before we go to our biggest event of the entire year, let's just full send it. So he's making a quick house call for us to install some, um, or to lay some yellow headlight tint on the FKA and it's gonna look super freaking cool. Right, 
FK turned out freaking sick, like I keep saying. Can't wait to see it all put together. It's gonna look insane. Huge shout out to DH Graphics and of course George for coming and doing this for us. Anyways, we are finally done in the shop. Let's head home. All right, guys, this is where we're gonna end today's video. I hope it was a ton of fun for you guys. I know it was a shorter one, and honestly, we didn't even expect to make this. It kind of just popped up. So I hope it was fun for you guys to watch and that you enjoyed it. Even though I'm not super into rally or anything, that was an absolute blast. Just seeing how it handled in the dirt made me super excited to take this thing on the track, which if everything goes well, we should be able to have a track day on Friday. But currently we're having a slight crisis with the Type R. If you guys don't know, we're competing at Circuit of the Americas for Global Time Attack next week, and we have a lot of stuff that's still missing. So Tim and I are like pretty stressed out, which you guys will see in, in the next Type R update, which will probably be the next video that you guys see. Um, so we're trying to figure all that out, and if we can get all of that figured out in two days, then we can go to the track on Friday, which I'm very excited to see how the GR Corolla performs. I'm just gonna do a bone stock. No tires, no wheels, no suspension, no brake pads, nothing. We're gonna take the car out bone stock and see how it is, and I think that'll be a lot of fun. But quickly hop on here and say thank you guys for all the support and love on the car. I'm super stoked and we have a lot of companies that are actually reaching out to uh, work and develop on this car. That's gonna be very cool. I'm excited to take you guys along on that journey. With all that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to leave me a like, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below on what you guys are excited for. Once again, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.